Uh, so I was just watching Lou's video. Yes, I woke up late today. Sorry. <laughs> I was watching his latest video. Come at me. Come at me, all of you mother effers. Okay. So Lou was trying to act all tough. Like he was playing this song by, it's actually a great song. He was playing by the village people in the Navy. And he was saying that that was the captain and they're all organizing, um, to come at Lou. They're all working together. And he did in fact lose, uh, 500 subscriptions, Lou. Which I think is not enough. I mean, 500? The guy should lose 50,000 subscribers. He should lose 80,000. He should lose all the subscribers. 500? <laughs> the guy is such a fake. He's such a phony. And, and, and you know what's funny is that he acts like he doesn't care. Let me tell you something. If Lou lost like 50,000 subscribers, oh my God. Lou would be begging. Listen to me. Not just... Listen to me, not asking, you have to understand that there's a difference between asking and begging. He would literally be on his hands and his knees making videos. Like you'll see Lou on the floor. Please don't come back to Lou. I'm sorry about everything I said. You know I'll never sell Amy out. I love Amy. Lou would get a tattoo of AMC on his ass if he lost 50,000 subscribers. Because you have to understand what Lou is truly about. Okay, Lou is about ad revenue on YouTube, and he makes a fortune. He does. The guy the guy had to make 300 grand on YouTube. You know, I mean, Lou's not making any money. Lou's not like, you know, there's no other money coming in for Lou. He doesn't own any AMC. He doesn't work. He doesn't, like, at least me, look, I have money, but I'm okay. Like, I don't need to make money on YouTube. I don't need to make money, you know, like Lou does. Lou desperately needs to make money. So AMC, you have to understand, is his ticket to ride. YouTube is his ticket to ride. If you took that away from him, he would be in such a desperate situation that I don't know what would happen to him. But yes, he'll be on the floor begging on his knees for the apes to forgive him. Okay. So, but the thing is the apes, I don't know what it is, but the people who are subscribed to this lunatic, this cloud, keep forgiving him no matter what he does. It's like they just, they just give him a free ticket to ride, a free get out, literally a free get out of jail card. Like he could say anything like, like, and you know, what's funny is that I don't know if you're listening to him, but he always contradicts himself. That alone is proof he's a fraud. He always contradicts, like he, he was saying not too long ago, all of his AMC YouTube revenue, did you, not YouTube, forget, forget what I just said, because I'm still thinking of YouTube. All of his AMC Moaz money, correction, his Moaz money was going to go to a special someone. Remember? Remember how Lou was saying, oh, I don't need my AMC Moaz money. He said, I don't need it. He goes, I'm doing great. I'll always make money. Lou will always make money. But now... He's saying he wants to sell AMC and he wants to get involved in other plays and he wants to use the AMC money for other plays. But I don't need, I don't, he didn't need that money. He made that very clear. He's like, I don't need that money. I'm giving that money away. But now suddenly he needs the money. So in Indian give a Lou, what happened to that poor special someone? They probably cried their eyes out. I thought I was becoming rich, Lou. Whoever it is, whoever that special someone is, Lou's an Indian giver, you know? Lou, you left me here to die. Help me. Don't get away from me. Go F your mother. Go F your mother. All right, so I don't know what to tell you. There's inconsistencies in his stories. There's inconsistencies. And you got to start catching on to it because Lou is a fraud. Lou is a fake. And look, I get it. At the end of the day, we're all entertainers. That's it. This video is entertainment. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. But Lou doesn't ever say he's an entertainer. That's the key. He doesn't have a disclaimer. He, he, he acts like he really did work on Wall Street. He acts like he really does have Wall Street connections. He's getting offered all kinds of deals and, you know, they want to give him more money. Remember he said that? He goes, I got offered. I made a joke about it. I made a, a parody video. He goes, I got offered more money from a corrupt bank to turn against retail, to hand retail over on a silver platter. I got a witness too. I got a witness who could collaborate this story. Got a, what witness? Santa Claus? <laughs> What witness? Okay. So anyway, it's like, I got offered more money from a corrupt bank than I would have made on the AMC Moaz and I turned it down. Yeah, right. Here's this guy's looking to sell AMC in the 20s. Listen to me. He's looking to sell AMC in the 20s and you want to believe that he turned down more money. This is what he said, that he would have made on the AMC Moaz. I mean, the guy is a, 
It's so obvious he's a con man. It's so obvious that he's a fraud. And you're list- And this is a guy who actually was convicted for fraud. It's not even like that we're pretending he's a con artist. The man was convicted and went to jail. He's been, he had his own web design consulting company, the Mazalorian. You got to give him credit. I give him a lot of credit because he exposed Lou for the fraud that he is. Lou, basically since 1998, apparently owned a web, a web design and consulting firm of which he primarily was involved in fraudulent activities with. The guy stole $73,000 from senior citizens. A judge ordered him to pay back that money, of which he did, by the way, because of the apes. The apes giving him YouTube revenue. We It's like he did the crime, right? And we did the time, okay? And on top of all of this, okay, the guy has it. It was on court documents that he actually worked for a web design company since 1998. So when did he work in Wall Street? When? When Moses worked in Wall Street? When Moses had the Ten Commandments? Like, what? <laughs> when, when did he actually work in Wall Street? So you really all should start listening to what he says. You need to start analyzing it because he is playing all of us for a fool. And that, my friends, is not cool.